Yo, what up, guys? Hanging out. What's up? What's up, guys and gal? Uh, and gal. There's one gal out one there. One gal. Yes. Drop a comment if you are a female watching this video, and then watch the dudes just start to hover and start replying in the uh, comment section. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. WMB is. I guess like girls are kind of like starting to hoop, man. What do you mean? I see a lot of female hoopers nowadays. Yeah, there's yeah, kind of crazy. There's some girls that hoop. I That's mean, dope. I like that. I mean, they can't be me, but like. You know, <laughs> I know. Uh, the, the, the age old debate like WNBA you see, you see all those like um, uh, the posts about the WNBA like players that are saying they want to get paid more and shit they're out of their damn they're out of their damn minds Did, didn't they just have their like finals and shit who knows yeah, I, I don't know I saw a few posts about that and I was like cool well, I'm not trying <laughs> to knock just, like, I don't care you know I'm not trying to knock them I'll watch any like good competition <clears throat> yeah if there's a good competition in regards to anything like I'm, I'm a fan of MMA for example right I get just as excited if not more for certain female fights than is male fights but uh, so there's that but to say that uh, WNBA players are playing on the same level as Yo. male NBA players is is it's, you know, it's pretty much just crazy. I was out with my girl at Red Robin, and then they were having like one of the final like games. And I was watching. I was like, dude, this is so bad. Like, uh, yeah. like how they were playing. I mean, it's just like they're not as athletic, and um, you know, it's just not as fun to watch. The, yeah. the level of play uh, is like probably around like what would you say like college or high school i don't, I don't really know but it's not definitely not nba level it's just not nearly as athletic yeah. not as fast uh, not even as technical so you know it, it is what it is i mean is there a place for it sure but you know to be considering that they even think they should get paid the same amount as male nba players it's just it's just math i don't think they okay. were saying that though no, some of them were. Really? Yeah, and uh, and the 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 bottom line is how much money is being generated. Yeah. If the money's not there, well, you're not going to get paid as much. That's just the way it is. The Who? NBA is generating more money because more people just want to watch it. Who watched it? Tell me. Tell us in the comments section. Did you guys watch the WNBA finals that happened like a couple weeks ago or whatever? Is it over? Is it even over? I don't really know. Yeah. Oh man, it's probably over, right? I mean, if it was a good game, I'm just like not into it. I have enough. You know, we're we're I'm busy. You know, and I, I have barely enough time to watch I'm, NBA. I'm excited for the preseason. <laughs> yeah, NBA, even I'm though there was no NBA right now. Yeah. Uh, but they, dude, some of the the girls though, they get some fire ass PEs, man. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, one of the girls only wears LeBron 15s and she got some crazy ass P's of that. Yeah. There's some crazy ass KD 11 P's as well. Um, and also the Kyrie 4 PE, I think there was some crazy Kyrie 4. I don't know if they were P's, but uh, there were some dope colorways of the Kyrie 4 as well. Yeah. That some of them were wearing. And uh, they get all of these new releases and we get to see it on the stage. And someone wearing it on the court because uh, those releases usually come out on the, in the off season. Right, you know the LeBrons and KDs and stuff. But then the WNBA, the WNBA, their season is going on and they're playing in it. It's super dope. Yeah. Um, and it's good for them though. I mean, I think the highest paid. I wonder what the highest paid WNBA player is. Probably like maybe 60, 70 grand a year. A year? No, I'm joking. Um, I think it's around. It's more than six figures, but it's got. I, I don't think it's more than. A, like seven. I don't think they're anyone's I mean, making. Yeah, they're probably right. looking at NBA money and like just like damn. Yeah. No, NBA money is kind of ridiculous though. No, it, it is like ridiculous. Thirty million a year is crazy, dude. Yeah, but you know, there's endorsements. There's oh. table tennis, ping pong players that are looking at NBA players too. Like, I want to get that money. <laughs> oh, you know, male uh, <clears throat> ping pong players. Do they even call it that? They call it table tennis. Dude, huh? imagine. It's blasphemy. It just imagine being like LeBron or Steph. And, you know, getting a max contract, not even just that, but, like, their endorsements as well. Oh, I mean, Not just, just from shoe companies. The shoe company, they probably get, like, 10, 20 million a year from it's that. It's crazy. Only. And, plus, Money's like... Money just flying at you. Yeah. It's insane. Just dude. flying at you. Yeah. Just give me, like, 10% and I'm good for the, for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? It's 10% of one yeah. year of what they make and I'm pretty good for the rest of my life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's crazy, but the, the, the money... Um, the money's there. What's the max contract? 
I don't know. I, I feel like, like every year is getting crazier. I feel like yeah, it was and my the salary. Did the salary cap go up yet? Uh, I don't. I don't know. think it did yet. But really? It, yeah. You remember when it was Mike Conley? Yeah. Uh, we saw Mike Conley at the Georgia game. It was super dope. Mm-hmm. He, he, I, I, we were uh, playing and stuff, and I, I made a shot. He's like, nice shot, nice, nice shot. Yeah, I was like, yeah, oh. that was super dope. Uh, but yeah, he had the highest paid contract ever. Uh, yeah, didn't for like a little bit. Um, I think after that, after Mike Conley was like uh, Harden, maybe I think. I, I, I remember well, Harden Hard signed that big uh, Adidas deal. Yeah, like, damn sure. Yeah, and then also, and after that, I think it was Steph. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sh- 100% sure. Of course, LeBron just signed a crazy ass contract as well. Did you hear what uh, Stephon Marbury said about Zion, oh, yeah, Zion Williamson? Williamson? He said he should get a half a million, half a billion, half a billion, five hundred million dollar contract. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, if he doesn't get that, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think he's stupid. Who? Stephon Marbury. What? I'm not saying Zion Williamson is not going to be good. What I'm saying is LeBron didn't get that much. Yeah, but the- he got a billion dollar lifetime deal after like nine years. Yeah, that's Nike. true. He signed LeBron signed like a five or like seven year contract with Nike for like ninety million or something. Yeah. you know, and then after that Nike you know signed another contract. No company is gonna uh, you know give a rookie that's- a. Five hundred million dollar Yo, contract. That's a lot of money. That's stupid. Like hold up, like that's crazy. Yeah. Like, half a billion dollars. I mean, good lord. Five hundred mil, dude. Oh my god. I mean, some NBA teams are worth what a couple billion. You're creeping towards the entire net worth of an NBA team. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I mean, yo. I mean, but, uh, he, he. So, just for he's where's he going? Duke. I think he's going to. Yeah, right? he's on Duke. He's going to Duke. And uh, so he's probably just gonna do one and done. One and done. He's gonna go to NBA. If he's smart. You think he's gonna be amazingly crazy? I think so. Really? Yeah. Dude, he's so athletic, dude. That just guy. his athleticism, and if he just keeps on working on his technical stuff, um, it, it's just the dude is a monster. He set the record for uh, highest vert in at Duke, I, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Insane. It's kind of crazy, like you know. Freaking thinking like I Isaiah Thomas and like Nate Robinson that like, they're like my high and they're in the freaking NBA dude. Yeah. That's crazy to me just thinking. Just yeah, thinking it that, is. Dude. Like, like just shooting over or you know doing a step back or whatever over like these seven foot six ten guys is just cr- with long arms is kind of crazy. Dude, yeah. You know, um, but of course it, it is a team sport. You're you're using like screens and stuff, but it's it's still like crazy to me that that they are. Yeah, yeah, it's just tough. It's yeah. tough to do. You gotta be knocked down shooter. You gotta be fast. You gotta be insane passer. Yeah. And you gotta work really, really hard. Yeah, uh, it, it's funny because like uh, there's a, a my friend. He's he's D one. He's D one college, and he was telling me like some of these NBA players aren't that good. Like, really? Some of these big guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, and they're just but in they're the NBA because they're big. They're huge bodies. That's not fair, bro. Yeah, but you know. That's not fair. I mean, I mean, they're, that, ju- they're doing something. Yeah, they're, they're bringing doing something, something to the team. Exactly. You know? I'm, I'm not saying like they're horribly like horrible or like not skilled at all. Obviously, they're they're gonna have some skill. They know how to like do some moves, post up and stuff. But comparing it to like how much skill like a person that's smaller and shorter uh, that you know is in the NBA, you know, comparing it to them. Obviously, it's not that that. Yeah. You know, it, it's a big difference. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like, yeah. Imagine being like seven foot. And he's like big. But like, I would want to be. I mean, that's that's getting up there. Yeah, but imagine, but like Joel, Joel, and Joel and me. Yeah. He's skilled. And he's oh, yeah. huge. For sure. I mean, a lot yeah. of these the, the the new wave. I mean, you at that height, you got to be able to do a lot. Yeah. Shoot. I mean, Dirk was kind of ahead of his time. In regards to that, just being able to, to shoot that well, being that big, a true, true seven footer. I wonder why. And like around the, you know, around the rim, his fadeaway. Yeah. But why was it like that? Why was it like, you know, if you're shorter, you're this position and you're taller, you can't shoot. Like, why was it ever like that? I you know, because the system, like systems got put in place and kind of people really stayed, you know, tried to stick to the blueprint and like, I, I, I don't know, I, you know, if I guess it's the way a lot of people were taught back then like that's why I like Steph you got to think out of the box you know yeah that's why I like Steph yeah because like I, I feel like he's one of the most influ- influential people uh, basketball players ever um, to change yeah. up change up the game yeah because you know after him like everyone started shooting even big guys yeah which for, is insane for better or worse yeah I mean maybe he may have even 
done Screwed some up damage. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone thinks they can just pull it from half yeah. court. But, I mean, the game is changing. I mean, you got to have a crazy... Y- your team has to have some heavy shooters. shooters. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to happen for you. Maybe he screwed up for the small guys, too. Because, like, now big guys are starting to shoot. Too. Yeah. So, like, no, no matter how skilled you are, you can't really guard big guys now. Yeah. Like, shooting and, like, doing crazy step backs and stuff. And so, I wonder if it's going to, like, you know, what, 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 what the next generation is going to hold. Like... You know? Yeah, back in the day, like, you know, you would just be a big man. You would never be expected to pull up from yeah. three, to pull up uh, for, from beyond three. Yeah. And now it's like, it's almost probably like, yo, you, you got to work on your three. Yeah. You got to spread the, the floor a little bit for us. And yeah. if you can't do that, you're out. And But it should have been like that from the get go. Like, why not have a three? Why not? Yeah, exactly. That's you know kind of I mean? so weird. Yeah. Like, Shaq, I think he only had one three pointer <laughs> in his entire yeah. career. Yeah. Same with like Dwight Howard and stuff, but yeah. those are like old school guys. I wonder what it could have been like if they, you know, had like a shot, and um, you know, they would have been a crazy. I, like, I Shaq can't even was think what it would look like Shaq pulling up from three. <laughs> yeah. Like what would that even look like? Did you see that video? He's no. shooting threes, uh-huh. and he says Steph Curry. He's breaking. Steph Curry. No, he make, he's actually making it. And yeah, then, I bet. And then he's like, he looks at the camera. He's like, Black Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Dude. Yeah. Shaq is awesome, man. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, dude, we saw him at the uh, the Jordan event last year. Yeah, the last Jordan event. Yeah, last, last Jordan event. You could event. tell he's a super humble dude. He's a super nice guy. And, like, funny guy. He was just, like, down to earth trying to hang with everyone. Yeah. Chuck seemed like that way, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we didn't really meet him or anything, he's but huge. you can just get the vibe. He's the big boy, man. Shaq, dude, he's like... Hi, Shaq. You're I mean, it's, it's just it's That's unreal. Crazy. But Chuck, I thought, would be bigger. He's not, like, that big. He's not that big. But he was just a strong. body, strong yeah. dude, you know? Yeah. yeah, the Jordan event was cool. Jordan event was cool. I mean, think yeah. about how much work they put into that. Yeah. It's Setting crazy. Setting all of that up and stuff. I mean, they got little hors d'oeuvres for us and shit. Like, a little, <laughs> would you like a beet juice smoothie? Yeah. You know, like, oh, I'm sure. Like, but, I mean, they put in a lot of work. I mean, the event was crazy. Yeah. The event was totally nuts. So well done. I mean, they, they really um, they really do it up and make it feel special, which which is cool. And then they you know they bless us with gear and the actual shoes. And yeah. it, it's crazy being like the first dudes on the scene, like getting the content out. Yeah. Like you know we used to see pictures and it's like oh wow you, you think where is yeah. that coming from you exactly. know who's taking those pictures like we're taking those pictures. Yeah. Um, and we're with the other people who are. Yeah. And getting to interview the the other people you know the Jordan designers and stuff is, is really dope yeah shout out to all of you guys for supporting us yeah. uh, we love you guys thank you for all the support and uh, just keep watching um, all you know, day yeah, quit all, school yeah. just watch these videos <laughs> and also we have a member program uh, that's right yeah, I've seen we, that we have a member program uh, I, we haven't mentioned that we forgot uh, but if you guys want to support us uh, we are gonna do a you know like a live stream kind of like a live stream uh, you know, like an exclusive one for the members only. If you are a member, that is one of the perks. You can also get like cool little badges and stuff that when you comment, you you know, you, you get also, which is super dope. And it's, it, it helps us out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like buying shoes um, is very expensive. Very get expensive. Very expensive, especially this time of year. There's a lot of releases. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're working hard, you know. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to support us, you guys can support us by becoming members. It's right below the, the video and it says uh, join or something. So if you guys want uh, want to help us out, then uh, you guys can join as well. If you have any other suggestions of other perks we can offer yep. within that, I'm not sure how that works, but um, yeah, we're open. And, uh... and if you guys want to talk to us, you guys can always uh, DM us on Instagram as well. Soul Brothers underscore IG. Mm-hmm. We try to get to everyone, but um, anyways... That's it. That's the uh, that's the little segment for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Later. Peace.